This tutorial will show how facing on head 2, differs from facing on head 1. I'll start by going to the program page and opening my program for editing. In this program, all of my head 1 work is done, and the part has been transferred to head 2. Looking at the drawing of the part, I can see the overall length is 6 inches. At the top of the program, I entered 6.04 inches as the length of the blank. In head 1 facing, I cleaned 20 thousandths off the front, leaving 20 thousandths for cleaning the back. This information is what I need to finish the part to length. Start by selecting turning, then facing. We are going to face the back of the part. I'll leave 5 thousandths for the finish pass. The control has prompted me for both a rough and a finish tool but has not selected them. A facing process, only automatically selects edge cutting tools for a facing operation. Instead, I will be using OD turning tools for the facing operation. On the rough tool, I'll move past general and select out for the type of tool. At the next field I'll select tool data window, to choose a tool. In my turret, I have set up a tool labeled 1B, for use on the second spindle. I always label my head 2 tools with a letter B. This is not a fixed rule, just something many people do for consistency. I'll highlight 1B, and press OK to select it. Skipping priorities, I'll move to depth of cut. From my auto set selections, I'll choose coding L auto to set depth of cut, surface speed and feed rate. And enter an M8 for flood coolant. For the finish tool I'll repeat the process, choosing tool 5B for the finish tool. I'll leave finish allowance at zero, cutting the part to size. Again, I'll use coating L auto for speeds and feeds, and, an M8 for flood coolant. Programming the shape is where things differ from head 1. As with head 1, our starting point X is our stock diameter of 6 inches. Starting point Z is where things get a little different. In Mazatrol, parts are programmed by telling the program the part shape, using positive dimensions from zero. The facing process, handles things differently. The Mazatrol facing process, always references part zero as a coordinate. This is done, to properly account for the defined rough stock in Z, given on the top line of the program. When we face the part in head one, we had a Z starting point of positive, 20 thousandths, and face to Z zero. In head 2, we will continue to reference Z0. This gives us a starting point of minus, 6.02 inches. This includes the length of the part, plus, the extra 20 thousandths remaining of rough stock. Final point X, is 1.4 inches, since I drilled a 1.5 inch hole through the part on head 1. Final point Z, is minus, 6 inches. Facing back, is one of the very few times a negative value is used in a Mazatrol turning program. I'll leave surface finish blank, using my previously set feed rate for the finish cut. Highlighting the top line in my facing back process, allows me to zoom and rotate the part in the graphic window, inspecting my work. I'll add a temporary end unit to the program. Then select Program Complete, and choose Tool Path. When I run the tool path for the back facing process, you can see the approach of the tool from the turret home position, to the cut, then back home. Returning to the program. I'll delete the temporary end unit. And I'm ready to continue the program.